Oh, you're back. Yep, I'm back. Nice. Lyle is my son. Yeah, exactly. Lyle is my son. Can't you tell? <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> All right, Lyle's back. Are you ready for part three, Lyle? I am ready for part three. All right, we're back. It's part let's, three. Let's try not to kill any more of our characters. Let's try not to kill any more. You know what's convenient about having a nice LaCroix fridge behind me? What? I can just go grab a quick LaCroix. I mean, I also have a LaCroix fridge. It's, <laughs> it's called right my regular you. fridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's over there. Uh, but I got a... Uh, yeah, a cursed uh, amber ale right here. Ooh. Yeah. Is that from Nashville? Did you say that earlier? Yes, this is from Nashville. Actually, the drink I was having before, this is uh, uh, a Green Man IPA. Green Man Brewing is, uh, is a brewery in Asheville, North Carolina. Very ah, good. Green Man. I don't think I've had Green Man. Gotta gra- i got to grab some new brews around here. i got to start loading this place. Green Man! Green Man! <laughs> All right, we're back. It's part three. We're rocking some Catan stories. Legend of the Sea Robbers. We just killed off Gwellin for the first time. Aw. Which was sad. We love yeah. Gwellin. We killed so off, sad. We killed off Norik for the second time. I mean, not so sad. Not so bad. But not so sad. Yeah. Not so bad. But um, he's not so sad. Eh, could have been sad. <laughs> <laughs> but we're ready to rock. Where's my where's my noise? We'll see if it's we'll see if it's I bugging out rock. again. But let's get back into this game and see if it keeps bugging out. Oh I want to yeah, we rock. hope everybody's having a great week. We hope everyone has a great week and gets in, get your decorations up. It's going to be awesome if you, if you celebrate Christmas. Um, if you don't celebrate Christmas, celebrate Christmas and just put like lots of dice on your tree or something. Right? Yeah. <laughs> We're selectious. Why not aim for a third Nork? <laughs> Why not? Let's see what yeah. happens. Let's go off. Let's, let's jump, do it. Let's <clears throat> jump into the Nork land. Nork. I think. Oh, there's the noise. It's coming. Yeah. Two have become one. <laughs> As we descend down a forest trail partially covered by moss and giant black rocks. Oh, we've done this one before. So we're going to have to choose wisely now to not die a third time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, unable to control myself, feels as though I'm being lifted out of my own body. The trees of the forest turn pale, rising out of the ground, to converge around me, triggering my mind to focus and go deep within. All right, so we did we this go. earlier. We did this vision. Yeah. This is the boat. Yeah, we just, did this vision. Just to remind everyone, this is us yeah. being attacked. It's the, it's, the, it's the Battle of Blackwater. Yeah. Back, Blackwater Bay. Look at this. They're firing uh, bad stuff around. Bad mm-hmm. stuff going on, mm-hmm. says the raven. Raven? What's wrong? You seem distant for a moment. Uh, the light was in my eyes, and then I'm not sure after that. Well, you didn't seem yourself. I called out to you repeatedly, but I couldn't hear your voice. It was almost as if you were totes a rags raven. Uh, I feel fine now. Hold. I hear someone talking from behind those trees. They're coming this way. What are they saying? I don't know yet. But there's two of them. Oh, Oh, yeah, this. (laughs) Really? How many times have I told you, son? Use your right, not your left. If you did what I say, the baker fool would be none the wiser. But Papa, he had a big black mole with him. You were there. Started barking as soon as he got close to the goods, it did. Oh, you blaming me, is that it? We got no bread tonight because of dear Papa? Listen, between the two of us, I know best. Doc's keen. Sense of smell. Used to pick up every little scent of smell in the air. Yeah, so. So what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so take which stick and smell some in the left hand. <laughs> um. Uh, it sounds like they sound- came from the opposite way. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wave! <laughs> That's you. Papa, the stranger. Pardon me. Do you live in these parts of the woods? I'm not actually from the island. I am Norik, son of... Not a stranger, but a potential customer. Good day to you, young master. May I present myself? My name is Raph. At your service, this is my son and partner, Scraff. We are a business duo. (laughs) The most respected in the land. And the most talkative, too. I was part of a merchant fleet myself. What's your business? Oh, various ventures. Too many to mention, really. But for you, young master, I only have the finest wares to trade. Lock your eyes on this beautiful amulet and set with a precious jewel. It could be yours, if we strike the right deal, of course. I've never held anything like this before. Imagine the look on the crew's faces when I brought back such treasure. Nork, I don't trust him. 
Come now. Why all the hesitation? I see that look in your eye. You won't find another opportunity like this. I assure you. I don't understand. What's so wrong about trading for this amulet? Uh, how can you be so blind, right? That's the other yeah. one. Yeah. How can you be so blind? He wants to get rid of it. You're right. I had the same instinct, but chose to ignore it. Take it back. I have, I have no interest in for jewelry. I'm sorry. You're lost then, young master. Follow me, Scrap. Let's sneak well, with the patrons. After some time, the path has come to an end, and we are at the edge of a cliff. Nork watches the wide green river as the current runs strongly through the gorge below. Oh, we can't get the shield anymore? No. All right. That must be below the Emerald River that was spoken of. But from up here, there's so many ways to descend the cliff. Let's hike down. Yeah, let's go. Hike. Uh, hiking down is the only way. It takes us the it better part us, of the day oh, yeah. to arrive at the bottom of the gorge. And by the end, Noak is obviously quite tired. Humans and their lack of wings. <laughs> How they not only survived, but prospered. I'll never understand. <laughs> Salty, salty raven. Now that we're by the river, this gives us a chance to rest. It's been a long day, and I must replenish my strength with some food. Do we eat or save it? I feel like you're dude, being a wuss. I feel like you're being a straight dude, wuss. Dude, I, dude, he is so frail. He needs to eat, dude. Dude, that falling was way faster. Which <laughs> <laughs> looks like, eat the onion. <laughs> Eat the onion like it's an apple. Ow! <laughs> we just eat this thing. Dude, I don't know. I, I feel like he's just being a wuss, dude. We just slowly hike down a cliffside, but whatever. We'll eat it. Nom, nom, nom. That was just what I needed. <laughs> Raw onion. <laughs> so refreshing. I'm going to lie down and rest for a while. Afterwards, we'll pick up the trail along the Emerald River to Katala. Indeed, the Emerald River is aptly named. The high concentration of algae causes its unnatural color, and the water shimmers with activity. All manner of aquatic life live and move among the rapid current. I'm going to cool myself in the water before we continue along the riverbank. I'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> what do we have here? Do you, do, do you see a pile of fish on the other side of the riverbank? I can scarcely believe my eyes. That's enough fish to feed a grown man for days. Oh man, here we go. <laughs> you need to can swim this, to the other side. Can this MF or swim? <laughs> see, see how they're wriggling and flapping around? That means the fish were freshly caught. What was that? It sounded like something was breathing heavily. That sound, a crescendo of breaths, builds to a thunderous roar that fills the gorge for miles. A bear! Could we get some Christmas bears? I see birds <laughs> scattering from their hiding places off in the distance. They've escaped in a manner that Nork definitely cannot. As it stands on its hind legs, it towers over Nork. Its black, glassy eyes investigate this intruder. The fish piled high on the riverbank are clearly his property, and he does not seem keen on sharing. We are backed up against the gorge wall, and his maw is open, not to intimidate us, but to attack. Merciful gods, the speed of that beast! We can't outrun him! <laughs> Intimidate the bear, make him afraid of you. Yeah, dude, intimidate the bear. Intimidate That's the bear. That's how you do it. Make him afraid of you. A show of strength. Make the bear retreat. I'm ready. When the bear moves in, brace yourself, Norik. Here I am. Come and get me. <laughs> the bear's massive paw delivers a powerful blow, knocking <laughs> Norik off his feet. He clambers around the ground, disoriented by the strike. Perhaps the beast will be mercifully quick about it. Oh, he crushed him. Oh. <laughs> we just killed him again. We killed him again. <laughs> we killed him with a bear. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Xbox says, Nork, use your onion breath. Use onion breath. Cast onion breath. Use ca cast onion breath. <laughs> Damn, dude, Nor just got beat down by a bear, dude. <laughs> dude, he just got wrecked with one swing. A deadly paw. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. He's, he's not so sad. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, I mean, like, I guess we were supposed to hide, which would have made sense. Yeah. No, I guess we weren't supposed to go for the fish at all. Right. 
I guess. All right. All right, Gwellin. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Get out of here, Nora. All right. Let's let's try to avoid this quicksand this time. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> all right, time, space, lose all meeting. A bond with Glenn has been forced to have become one. When to become one. <laughs> How is it even more frigid here than when we were on the mountaintop? My feet and limbs are getting numb. Judging by your timing and attire, you must be Gwellyn. Uh, by those features, I'm certain this is... Tala? It's you, isn't it? You're Malcor's daughter. One and the same. You're shaking like a leaf. Excuse this weather. You've come to the coldest region on Ore Mountain. It would eat, take even the natives of this land a long while before they adjusted. Wonderful. Your lips are a shade more blue than the winter's kiss. You'll feel better once I get a hearth roaring, uh, roaring within these walls. That's right, let's get a game of Hearthstone going. Yeah, I was there. Take heart. Your strength will return, well in. Indeed. We are fortunate. I'll stoke an ember in the fireplace. It will only take a moment. Oh. I, I can <laughs> feel myself thawing. <laughs> I hope this tower is equipped to keep out the cold. No doubt I'm thankful. This has been nothing short of a long couple days. I can't imagine living here for the length of my life. Pray tell, Tala, how did you find me? The local guides in the villages below sent a page, saying that my father sent someone looking for me. They mentioned your garments and your appearance as an outsider, so it was easy to piece together. Fortune smiled, and by the mercy of the gods, I found you. Your life was, me was nearly forfeit. Your emaciated condition. I'm surprised you didn't end up eating your pet bird. Hmm, I'm more feathers than meat. <laughs> I'm sure it was only a chest. <laughs> Tala, I'm internally deaded for your saving me. If you received a message, then you know why I've risked my life and limb to come here. A bit. My father mentioned you were looking for a vessel and wondered if I had seen anything from this vantage of this watchtower. Yes, and perhaps a ship that might have landed recently, as recent as myself, named the Black Serpent, and home to foul outsiders run by the nefarious Captain Whitebeard. If memory serves, I do remember seeing something from this watchtower. A few days prior, a terrible storm caused the wreckage of a few vessels somewhere between Catan and the barren island in the west. Were there any survivors? The wrath of these seas pounded the ship so thoroughly, I'd almost thought it unlikely. Some perished, but a good number did wash up on our shores alive. I've also received word in the watchtower about a young man who might intrigue you. Oh? He bears a likeness to those outsiders you speak of. He was last seen heading east along the southern coast. He may, be, he may even be heading for one of the villages near our Emerald River. Um, curses, we came all this way, and not one lead on Whitebeard. I, too, doubt that Talus speaks of our mortal enemy, but finding this outsider is the only way we have. If we intercept him, we could lead us to Whitebeard himself. Tala, has there been any activity on the island as of late? Unfortunately, yes. Stories of the villagers being seized by these outsiders are spreading like wildfire. Some of the people are afraid for their lives. I should send a message to warn my father to be careful. Just as we feared. The crew of the Black Serpent have brought danger on this island. He's a ravager, and now he plans to take hostage the lives of the people here in Catan. It's a sickening feeling. These outsiders, especially their commander, Captain Whitebeard, is the sole reason why I've come to, come to you today. Help me track down this outsider you've spotted from Barren Island. He may not know the whereabouts of Captain Whitebeard. I see. The last I'd been informed was that this man was the last seen heading to the southeast. He couldn't have gone far so early on foot. You'll be able to catch up with him, but only by horse. I've seen no such horse. Where would I obtain? <laughs> Gwell in peace. You must rest and regain your lost strength. There will be no more adventuring for you today. Let me summon a few of my friends to help you, and I promise all will be better. But for now, sleep. Tyler's right. We've spoken so much that I forgot all about my aches and pains. Short rest is the best thing for me, mentally and physically now. We'll continue speaking about our plans later. The wind around Ore Mountain has finally died down. The sun shines on the finger-like peaks and the rocky cliffs. Tala takes advantage of the serenity to escort us down the mountain to an open field, where members of the famed caravan hunters await us patiently. Here we are, Gwellyn. I'd like to introduce you to the members of the caravan hunters. All right. Welcome, welcome to our corner of the woods. <laughs> you may call me Winham. We've been hunting and gathering for what feels like centuries now, and it's a small wonder that Tala has come and brought us yet another outsider. 
And you, Galen, what stories do you bring to the island? Um, I'll start once upon a midnight dreary. <laughs> Raven, we'll not make light of our new friends. I'm not one for recounting my journeys, but I've tasked myself with a journey to bring a malignant man to his knees. Oh, this one's le Oh, oh, this one has grit. More so than the other one. You've talked with another outsider? You mean the young man Tala saw from the Watchtower? A castaway, supposedly, from Baron Island with baleful luck. Wound up and snared one of our traps. It was quite amusing. Uh, we should press the Elder for more details. Where was he headed? We counseled him towards a small village of Katala. Our elder sent him north not, not, not too long ago. He goes by the name Nork. 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 The name sounds vaguely familiar. You'll be needing a horse if you want to find this young man, yes? I'd be most grateful for any help you could provide. It's not too much trouble. Nonsense. You outsiders have more of an interesting couple days. As for the horse, let us add it to the long list of favors that talent owes us, and we'll be even. Oh, of course, why not? When time, you scoundrel. Now, Quellen, you do know how to ride a horse, don't you? Uh, everyone stumbles or even falls on their first ride. Ha! Huh. Just watch me. <laughs> I've delved in a few riding lessons back home, but before I depart, I must ask you to protect yourself from the outsider they call Captain Whitebeard. Should you feel up to it, I'll gladly have you by my side in a fight. Grit and D. As I've said many times, <laughs> when you reach my age and are saddled with my responsibilities, you start to think about more than just passing the time. I must ensure the survival of my people. Then what better way to exercise that than by protecting your way of life? I couldn't have said it better myself, and that's something. Perhaps you've given me the something to ponder, outsider. In any case, I thank you immensely for your help. Tala, I won't forget your aid as long as I breathe. But for now, please tell me where all the quicksand is. I ride out to Nork <laughs> and head for Katala. Farewell. <laughs> it was a pleasure, Gwellyn. Go find Whitebeard and take him down for all of us. Even with the fastest horses, the ride will definitely take some time. I'll call you should I encounter any quicksand. <laughs> I've been riding for so long but without a general sense of where I'm going. I can only guess that it might take me a day or so to reach Katala. I would have thought you'd inherited a knack for map making. <laughs> yes, yes. I blame it on my circumstance. We've arrived at the marshlands now, so I oh, guess we we've go. already we crossed a large distance. I think we can cover some more ground if we... Whoa! <laughs> What's happening? Quicksand! I'm sinking! It's these marshlands. It's full of quicksand traps. That's the one we didn't do, right? Yeah. The weight okay. of the horse and myself is only dragging us down further. I'll have to dismount and wade my way back to solid ground. You'll have to waddle faster than that. I can't. My foot is stuck. Oh, God. Try to find your center. Focus on your surroundings. <laughs> the more I resist, the more my body sinks in this muck. Think, think, my surroundings. My horse, it's moved quickly to the side. If I can just hold onto its reins. My horse, it's gone. It must have been frightened off. Scream as loudly as you can. Someone must be around. Someone! Help me! Please! Is anyone there? Who's there? <laughs> Answer me. <laughs> nice! I can hear I can hear something stopping towards us. Yes! Racing towards the scene. It's Bjorn! He arrives just in time to see Quell and being pulled under, desperately scrambling through grass all night. Raven, what in the name of God is going on here? Um, don't, don't stand there mouth the gate. This young lady needs help. Yes, of course. Yeah, he's like hauling ass down the thing. Yeah. Moments before she's completely submerged in the marshland, Bjorn crouches by the bank and reaches in, dragging her out from certain death. Th thank you, stranger. You saved me. But please, let me catch my breath. It's a good thing I was passing by this swamp when I did. I'm Bjorn, and I'm a blacksmith from Dasrak. May I have your name? Gwellyn. I'm afraid not from this island like you. In fact, I'm an outsider. Our outsiders, Uncle Tan. Answer me this, young lady. I'm looking for my wife, Ingrid, who was taken from her home days ago. Are you in league with the kidnappers? 
calling themselves the sea robbers. Out with it. I assure you, Bjorn, this woman is not your enemy. Raven, Raven. did you say something? Oh, <laughs> Uh, huh. You better reassure him that you're not a sea robber. This is like getting weird because they can both hear each other. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, imagine now what's going on here. Um, no. Unfortunately, I haven't seen your wife, and I'm not a sea robber. I'm on your side. You have to trust me on that. I'm sorry. I lost my temper earlier. It's just I worry for Ingrid as I've not seen her in days. Please forgive me. There's nothing to forgive. I fully understand what you're going through, and I hope you find her soon. See what told me I look like Sia. <laughs> like, hang from my, the chandeliers. My... <laughs> like that shit. <laughs> Chandelier! In, <laughs> in my opinion, you two should join forces. <clears throat> Let me propose the idea. If you're an outsider, Quellen, you must not be familiar with the island of Catan. There are many dangers about for those who do not belong here. Why not come with me? Raven, I hardly know this man. You know that I do better when I'm on my own. Besides, I have my own mission to fulfill. Yo, thank you. But believe me, I'm more than capable of taking care of myself. Besides, I have some urgent business in Catala, and I cannot stop or afford to be sidetracked, no matter how many dangers you may say there are. As you wish... Oh, well. No, as you wish. I can tell you that Katola is not far from here. I wish you well on your journey then. Farewell, Bjorn. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Well, by the grace of the gods, I live. I nearly met my end in the pit of Quicksland. I desperately need a break. Thank you for letting me rest. <laughs> now, to reorient himself in the right direction. God damn it, he had actionable intel on Whitebeard. <laughs> yeah, and he could have talked to her. Uh, He's too awkward and wants to kill everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, Dude, I should have known. I should have known Bjorn to the rescue, man. He's yeah. he's the man. He's just trudging. He's like, <laughs> and the raven's like, <laughs> trying to keep up with him. <laughs> Aren't your legs tired? <laughs> <laughs> oh, push up. Yeah, push up. Uh, damn. Yeah, see, now everyone's fighting again. <laughs> All right, I guess we got to go. Norvik? Yeah, I guess we gotta go back. Alright, gotta go back. Alright, here we go. Okay. When to become oh. one. Oh, nice, nice, nice. We have become one. As we descend down a forest trail, partly covered by moss, rocks, stuff like that, I feel as though I'm lifting out my body. <laughs> so we're, yeah, we're gonna we're... blow through this one a little faster since we've got yeah, Rish doing this. Yeah. Hey, have a great night, Rish. Uh, the forest is turning yeah. pale and things go deep. Blah, blah, blah. We're about to have a vision. Okay, we, we see vision. the Raven vision. We're being attacked. Yep. Raven, what's going on? You seem distant. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you seem distant. Yep. Just keep going. Yeah, these uh, are Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. This is, we've, we've done this twice now. We're going to speed through this. Speed uh, running. Blah, blah, blah. You're a regs, yeah, you regs Raven. <laughs> uh, I'm fine. Hold. Someone's behind those trees. They're coming. There's two of them. I don't think it matters. More probably. caravan hunters? I don't think we tried that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know yet. There's two of them. Same answer. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. He's going to want to trade with us. Unless we do a trade. I don't think... I think we tried both um, both options, and they both... Did we? Because I thought he wanted our thing. book, but yeah. we don't want to give up the book. No, we didn't have the book. That was the other guy. That was uh, Bjorn had the book. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, so, so what? Blah, blah, blah. Take your stinky smelling hand. Yep. Yep. Uh, I don't. We tried, we tried both of these. Yeah, same, the same, same answer. result. Oh, yeah, you wave. <laughs> mm -hmm. He gives the wave. Yep. It's Papa, a stranger. stranger. Uh huh. Blah, blah, blah. I'm an outsider. Oh, do you want to trade? I have this amulet. Oh my god, right. this right. amulet. I've never held anything like this. <laughs> have a great night, Darth. Early day tomorrow. Keep going. Right, see you, Darth. <laughs> uh, I think matter. this doesn't matter, right? Because they just try to trade yeah. with us. Yep. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, they try to give this amulet. Yeah. But they don't want anything we have, right? Or, no, every, like, every answer is... They're, it's, they're yeah. They're trying to sell... They're trying to... It's stolen, right? Yep. So, let me see the answers again. Actually, was it trade for it if you like? Yeah, trade for it if you like. I think... Excellent. The, then we say... Got... No, we didn't. We never done this. Oh, we've got nothing in trade. Yeah. 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 Okay. We might have had an onion, but we ate it. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't eat it yet. Oh yeah, we have an onion. Right, uh, yeah, hike. Yeah, that's it. Let's hike down. Yep. We do have an onion. We could have traded our onion. Dude. Yeah. Save no. Save the onion for later. Now we're gonna. Sh we're, now we're gonna throw the onion to the side, and the bear's gonna follow the onion, dude. <laughs> yeah, is that what you think is the solution? That's the solution. Yeah, dude. That's the solution. That would be a straight up tech. That would be a king's quest answer. Like, <laughs> yeah. oh, the bear loves onions. Yeah, feed, feed onion to bear. All right, save it for later. Right, I'll have a look for more food later. Okay. I am going to go lie down and rest after we can pick up a trail. Did we do this last time? Did he rest? Yeah, then, he, yeah, then, he, then he's going to go for a swim. All right. Indeed, the Rainbow has after named uh, the yep. God's Straight Algae. That's right. <clears throat> I'm gonna cool myself in the water. I'll be back. Flash, flash. <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna go take a bath. All right, the pile of fish on the riverbank. Yeah. Start sleeping. My eyes. There's nothing. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is the big decision right here. Uh, You'll we... need to swim to the other side. That's right? what. I, that's what I wrote last time. Oh, I thought you said, "What are you waiting for? Let's take them." No, no. I said you'll need to swim to the other side. And oh, okay. He did. <laughs> so I think. Either way, it puts us in a battle with this. With okay, this, uh, bear. puts us battle for bear. Okay. So let's just take them. Let's try it. Okay. See how they're wiggling and flapping around. So we're so that means the fish were freshly caught. What's that? It sounded like a breathing heavily. Oh, here comes the bear. Sounded like crescendo of breaths. Yep. So it's the same result. Yeah, yeah, same thing. Same thing. So we have to fight this bear. We have to get past the bear boss. Bear boss, guys. Bear boss. Stands hind legs. Uh, okay, he's gonna smack us in the face. Rub onion on our body, okay. It's you rub onion one. on your body to repel bear. <laughs> then when the bear tries to bite you or smack you, he doesn't want onion. Merciful gods, the speed of that beast! So we gotta we hide. Cannot run him. Hide quickly. Here we go. We have no chance. Quickly hide, you fool. Hide where? The bear's so big, nothing escapes his view. Head toward the river for now. Here we go. Here we go. What's the use of that? The bear can easily swim. How about you stop making excuses? <laughs> He's big territorial. Uh, he only wants his hard-earned fish. That's it. Well, if he's simply protecting what's <laughs> his, he can have it. Beast, I return the spoils of the hunt. Take it. I want them no longer. <laughs> That's the beast. <laughs> Toss the fish in the air. Keep the bear guessing. <laughs> now that the bear is gnawing away at the fish I gave back, it's time to go. I think I hear the bear digesting his meal from beyond the trees. For now, we run. We must put as much distance between us and him as we can. <laughs> of course, his move was to just arrive. Yeah. Phew. My legs refuse to carry me any longer. My <laughs> muscles ache and my blood still bumps through my veins. We must rest here or I fear I'll collapse. Where's my onion? Yeah. Uh, Hide behind the. <laughs> you were fortunate you weren't mauled by that bear. My body is so racked with fatigue. I can only ignore your witty remark. <laughs> All I hear is the sound of rushing water flowing through the river. In truth, it lulls me to sleep. <laughs> it's a good thing I require no rest. I'm awakened by the sound of a canoe landing on the sandy bank of the Emerald River. Before I have time to warn him, two burly men splash into the water and run up the shore, catching Norik off guard. What is this? Unhand me! Who are you? Oi! Shut him up! Grab his legs! <laughs> they climb over the head and start dragging him toward the boat. I see the two moonlit silhouettes push out into the river before they row away. I head into the night after them before they can disappear into the dark. God, Nork. Oh, we got rid of Nork. Yes! <laughs> we did it. <Yes. laughs> kidnapped him. <laughs> Hired people to kidnap him. Kidnapped? 
Okay. Oh, man. That means Gwendolyn's not going to meet up with him at Katala. <laughs> oh, so Norik is like gone. He's, he's been kidnapped, dude. He's, he's, on, he's on the Emerald River, though, I think. Dude, seriously worst storyline. Like, this guy <laughs> no, can't, can't catch a break, man. <laughs> now he's kidnapped. Killed by a bear. <laughs> cut him loose, like, twice. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Who are we going for? Gwellin, or is it... Because these two just cross paths. I think it's, it's Bjorn time, though. Yeah, let's go Bjorn. Uh, yeah. Let's go Bjorn. Let's see what Bjorn has to say about this. My eyes close as the flows through me. Time and space lose all meaning. A bond with Bjorn. Two have become one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We've tracked many miles to the east. Now will be appropriate time of rest for the evening. Eat. We've nothing at all. Hmm. I'll live with it, but I don't have to like it. That's all he said. There was something. Yeah, I know. There was something very odd about that young lady we met. From now on, I'm gonna start saying that. Like, hey, uh, <laughs> let's go out for pizza tonight. No, we're not doing pizza. I'll live with it, but I'm not gonna like it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll have to like it. But I'll have to like it. <laughs> what? <laughs> you speak of Gwellin. Why? I don't know. I can't express it clearly in my mind either. But there was something about her energy, the aura, surrounding her. It was unlike anything I've ever felt for someone before. Catanian, or outside of light. But let's leave the matter for another day. Now the hour is late, and rest is needed. Phew. I can hardly keep my eyes open until tomorrow. Ingrid. My, uh, my appreciation of the full moon is interrupted by Bjorn, who sleeps restlessly by the fire. He murmurs in his sleep, but can't understand what it is he's saying. I close my eyes and let my mind enter a shared state of connected thoughts. What is this place, a house? No, a ship. It sways gently back and forth in the corner as a woman, Ingrid. She's shackled to the floor and is too weak to even lift her chains. She stares into Bjorn's eyes and calls out, Bjorn? Bjorn? Ah! Uh. Peace, Bjorn. It was a dream, nothing more. Well, how did you know I was dreaming? <laughs> I watch over people at night. I'm receptive to emotions. <laughs> Dumb pile. Stay on my wow. head. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> you just called me a dung pile? Yeah, dude. Yo! It's damn. not even first light. But since I woke up, the entire forest. I guess we should move. Let's go. We're near the Grand Four now. It'll take some time across this belt. Let's push on. Past these gates is Grand Four. Perhaps the gods may even give us a big city welcome. The bridge leading into the city is supported by de decorately, or decoratively carved columns adorned by sigils. On the far end, the famous Grand Four stone walls stand tall, built to keep out large predators. Today, they stand as a testament to the city's strength. The city is built around what appears to be a major place of worship or town hall. Or possibly both. Gaggles of people are standing out front, listening to a man lament of the dangers outsiders pose to Catan. There are a lot of activities in this city. We certainly did not come to sight see. Raph mentioned that the people may have seen movements from the sea robbers lately. Let's ask someone down the busy cobblestone street. Agreed. Grand Four has many eyes and ears and saying goes. It's as good a place as any you saw looking. Perhaps those men by the table could tell us something. Oh, money. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is good. <laughs> get I? <laughs> you wish you could make a transaction. I'm certainly looking off for you, reasonable deal. Dude, that's pretty good, dude. <laughs> now, rather I come to ask you a few questions. Have you seen a woman from Deseret? Come through Grand Fall recently. She may have been accompanied by outsiders. Hmm. Well, she wear an all shaped necklace made from seashells? Uh. I think oh, that's your, your conch shell? Yo, bro. Yeah. Were you wearing a conch shell necklace? A conch shell necklace, bro? <laughs> Yo, that's the one, just like yours, because it's a girl's necklace. <laughs> yes. Much like the necklace around my neck now. Where were they taking her? 
You speak to her? Oh no. There were rumors among next Bramfor who spotted outside of Crapanilla Village. Crap, Campanilla Village. They had a woman in tow when she was wearing the same kind of necklace that you're wearing now. <laughs> I must have been Ingrid. <laughs> Peace, Raven. I want to hear the rest of what this man has to say. The other's grandfather who overheard something about the outsiders. Oh, damn, I fell back into like. <laughs> <laughs> so I suck at the accent. <laughs> yeah, I've always been bad at the Australian. Eh? No. Uh, oh. There are grandfather who overheard something about the outsiders rejoining this ship out east. But I can't be sure. <laughs> so I thank you. <laughs> it's like such a bad accent. <laughs> Thank you for this. <laughs> you may have just saved that woman's life. I don't have much, but please take this as compensation. That won't be necessary. <laughs> Damn it. In these times, we have to stand together. <laughs> <laughs> I? I hope I hope the council can really help me end encounter this outsiders. I've been told I, <laughs> I've been told I recently sent a search party to the east of the planet. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to help this effort, you can use your muscle. <laughs> the exclamation of the city comes to a halt when Bjorn's attention is drawn down the street to a young man and woman protesting to Grand for Night to little success. It seems the man is being dragged away to the city prison. Bjorn's expression suggests he recognizes the girl. What a scene those two are creating. <laughs> do, 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 do. That's probably, um, that's not Gwellin, is it? She didn't get arrested. No. Hmm. Who is it? I who it is. I think it's Gwellin time, right? Gwellin time. Let's go Gwellin. Let's keep the story moving. Yep. We should be within the vis... <clears throat> oh, I'm, I'm surprised we didn't have to do the, the two becomes one. Yeah. We should be within the vicinity of Katala now. That blacksmith really saved me back in the marshlands. Yet, something has been on my mind. You stare the same way at him, the way you do at me when we speak. I, I understand that I am a sight to behold, but don't bother. <laughs> Admittedly so. Besides, something else has taken a hold of my interest now that we're just outside the village. A band of sea robbers out for a stroll in the rain. No, they're throwing a young man into his cell. Now who is this poor fellow who's been caught? Could he? Could he be the same apprentice navigator who was aboard the Nor Star? Nork. Was that his name? If so, this means that we're getting close to Whitebeard. I just may have my revenge at last. Oh, it's Nora. Focus. Focus. Let's not get carried away here. <laughs> no, it's him. I may have to wait a while. The sea robber on duty will slip up eventually. And that's when I'll move in and strike. Stab him. <laughs> here comes the sea robber now. <laughs> this may be my only opportunity. These bushes will provide the perfect cover. The leaves are thick enough to conceal me. Exercise caution and strike swiftly. I'm just waiting for the right. The moment the guard looks away, Gwellin leaps from the bushes onto him. She locks her arms around his wet helmet and stealthily throws him onto a boulder, knocking him out. His limp body drops to the soaked ground with a squishing noise. Oh, dead, bro. Just uh, got a perfect <laughs> Right then. Oh, that's a, dude, that straight up deserves a. <laughs> right then. Oh, and then we could even do like a. Right then. Now for the keys. I'll make sure to step on him. Or what? Right then. Now for the keys. I'll make sure not to step on him. I wouldn't want to wake him. I don't think he'll move for a while. <laughs> yeah. I think he killed him. With that amount of force, yeah. he's unconscious at most. I haven't made too much noise. So it's a matter of moving without raising alarms. Uh, the looks from those prisoners don't don't make it seem so. All the more reason we have to find Nor quickly. That was quick. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so Nor. Boom! Coming. All right, now we're going to Nor. All right. All right, we're, our stories Story are coming is... together, guys. Yeah, two three comes one. Time and space lose all meaning. Our character's about to interweave. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Ravens. Raven Scout. <laughs> oh, ow. 
<laughs> this throbbing pain. Ah, oh, the back of my skull feels kicked in. Raven! Are you there? <laughs> You're not. I've been here this whole time. Uh, the last thing I remember is two strange men attacking me in the middle of the night. And now I ended up here in this large wooden cage of sorts. And there are others rounded up here? Ask the others where we are exactly. Yes, praise the gods I didn't end up in here alone. Oi, can <laughs> can someone tell me where we are? Young Katala Man. Young Katala Man. <clears throat> Quiet down. Yeah. You're trying to put our lives in danger. Haven't you outsiders done enough to me? My hands were tight. I'd wrap them around your neck. Old Katala man. First, <clears throat> first, you people come and ransack Katala. Then you kidnap innocents and lock them in cages like animal. Your council, <laughs> our council will not stand for this. Don't come find us. Um, I'll go with, let's see. Hmm, they seem to blame you yeah. for what's happening to Katala. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Yes. I want to convince these people that I'm generally on their side. Let's see. The okay, here man. we go. We talk to young man, we can talk to old man. Or, or a little girl. Or there's a little girl, I guess. Do you remember a little girl? We didn't talk to a little girl at all. Uh, no, this is just, uh, this is brand new. And have a great night, Xbox uh, Mayor. It's good to see you. Thanks yeah, for see all you, Xbox? Tonight. Good hanging out with you. He says the raven calls. The raven <laughs> calls. It does. I don't remember. We didn't talk to a little girl. No, 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 no. She's just like a third option. She's just another person in there. What do you guys yeah. think? Little girl, old man, or little boy? <laughs> Those are your options. I don't know, man. We're probably going to have to talk to all three of them, I feel like. It might be one of those such yeah. situations. Well, I say we go old man. Let's reason with the old man. Okay. He's mad at us. All right. <clears throat> yes. Maybe he'll be more reasonable. Old man, you accuse me of raiding the village of Katala, but it's clear as day that I'm in this cage with you. You ever think about that? <laughs> I think about that? I could have been one of the marauders. <laughs> Boy, what you don't understand is that it doesn't matter whether you're with the sea robbers or not. I don't trust you. We lived in peace until people like you arrived on our island. Too much hassle. But I believe yeah. the council. Too much hassle. Too much hassle. But I believe the council is going to get us out of this. You'll have to do more than convince uh, them you're not the enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's move into someone else into this cage. <laughs> All right. Let's talk to the girl. Yeah, there we go. She hasn't said anything to us. Maybe this little girl went over. She looks really scared, and she's like keeping to herself. Little one, are you all right? You're not hurt, are you? Dot dot dot. Yep. Uh, she's either scared or mute. You're not someone who talks very much. You have to believe me when I tell you I am not a sea robber. I don't have the face of a sea robber. I don't have the build of a sea robber. I'm not part of these men who did this to Katala, but I will make them pay somehow. I believe you. What did you say? Yeah. Oh, I'm I believe sorry. that you're not one of them. <laughs> the people who came to my home were bad men. You're not bad man. <laughs> Clever girl. <laughs> Clever girl. Well, that settles that. There are others who I want to talk to. Okay, let's right, talk to the man, man time. <laughs> then here goes. You there, lying in the corner. I think you might be mistaking me for somebody else. My ship accidentally crashed on this island. I'm not. Stop trying to fool me. I know an outsider when I see one. Some people like you came and tore apart my farm. Treacherous sea robbers separated me and my family. Right now, I want to go home. Uh, uh, leave him be. Uh, leave him be. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to talk. It's useless. He's not ready to listen. Let's find somebody else. To the sea robber survey. Oh, talk to the sea robber. Oh shit. These sea robbers have a lot to answer for. Hey, guard, turn around and face me. I want to talk to you. 
Oh shit, dude! It's Whitebeard. Oh, it's Captain Whitebeard. Were, who, weren't you Captain Whitebeard? I forget. Um, I think you were. <clears throat> oh yeah, I think so. I think it was. And who might address the captain of the Black Serpent so abruptly? Someone looking to be strung up and marked with a hot iron, perhaps? I can't believe we're face to face with him. White beard! <laughs> right to his face. <laughs> Funny, you don't look like one of those poor Catanians. <laughs> My instincts say you look familiar. Give me your name, boy. And be quick about it. Uh, yeah, let's not do this like we did the bear. We learned that lesson. Yeah. Careful, Nork. This may be your chance to get out. Um, my um, my name is Nork, son of ah uh, yes, the pup navigator. You run with Captain Diva's crew. See, I knew, I knew you. That's why you look so familiar. And here I thought the North Star and her crew were splintered to the four winds. <laughs> Men, open the kennel and let our pup navigator go free. We've made a mistake. He is really one of us. I am not one of you. What are you doing, Nork? Don't you wish to leave this cage? The line must be drawn here. I won't let him get to me. Whitebeard, you have disgraced our fleet's oh, gotcha. name many times over. Captain David does not see eye to eye with you, and neither do I. You've no right to do what you did to the people of this island. You've plunged them into chaos. Look around you. <laughs> Look at what you've gained. Look what you've Catan. done. <laughs> Catan is nearly infinite in its gold and other resources like sheep and wood. <laughs> you say it's chaos, but you don't realize the beautiful opportunities come from chaos. Chaos is a ladder. Yeah, chaos you and I were born out of chaos. We take what we please from this island and any other place. It's our destiny as men of the sea. Who are we to deny what is rightfully ours? Hmm. Don't play his mind games, Nork. Whitebeard, you're mad. You've clearly reached the point of no return. You know I've tried my best. Since you enjoy being with these Catanians so much, you can sit here and rot in your cage for all I can. Men, we're heading back to the Black Serpent. Let's go make history in the East. I tried to reason with Captain Whitebeard, but in the end, I even, even I couldn't do anything to help the people of Catan. I failed. Curse this cage and curse the day <laughs> Whitebeard laid eyes on this island. His heart was corrupt and his mind already too far gone. <clears throat> You don't understand. I can't. <laughs> huh? <laughs> uh, I'm like, I'm like sitting here like, uh, <laughs> you heard something? <laughs> Shh. What was that? I thought I heard a strange noise. Raven? Where have you gone? Can you hear me? Mercy of the gods who's rendered the guard senseless and pilfered his keys. This is one woman who's not to be trifled with. Prisoners! Wake up! She comes this way! <laughs> Stand behind me, a lot of you! Oh, where's my quit? Uh, you, stand up! You're now free. You're now free of the north. <laughs> you are no longer held by the Baratheons. I want you to come with me. Raven, where have you been all this time? Huh? Why does she want me to follow? Can I trust her? Of course you can trust her. How do I know that you're not acquainted with the likes of Whitebeard? Because if I were, I'd let you sit in your cage like a rat rather than setting you free. Look, I was an oarsman on Captain Deva's vessel. Well, not a legitimate one, but I digress. You, on the other hand, are that young navigator of the North Star. Hey, I may be young, but I'm the best navigator there is in this fleet. I'm a rising star <laughs> and a millennial. The captain said so. You? <laughs> you sent our ships into that terrifying storm. Ugh, he's as impulsive as he's pig-headed. Must I stay in the same vicinity as him? Um, This probably both leads to the same conclusion. Yeah. Which one? 
Uh, you'll both manage each other's company somehow. Wait, whose side are you on? She's a stranger here. Would you really trust somebody who just knocked out a grown man with their bare hands like some barbarian princess? <laughs> Begging your pardon? Like a what? I'll cut out your tongue. <laughs> what at a moment, please, and stop shouting. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a telepathic conversation. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Wait, how did you know what I said? Were you talking to my friend, the raven? No. Yes, you were clearly muttering something under your breath about my friend. <laughs> Hold. <laughs> I've heard everything you've said, and you weren't even speaking aloud. Were you? Uh, it took a while for both of you to unravel that. <laughs> <laughs> you can speak to the raven? Yeah. And so can you? I can't fathom how another person on this island is as crazed as I am. You better start from the beginning. <laughs> We've no time for this. Have you, have you grasped nothing of what these sea robbers can do? I, but I won't be foolish enough to be caught a second time. I won't budge until you at least give me your name. Uh, he's stubborn and rash. Yeah, I guess so. My name is Gwelyn. I've been tracking you ever since I learned of your presence on Katan. It may take a while to explain my story. Explaining story, explaining story, explaining story. I died yep, in quicksand. Yep. I'm still recounting my story to Norik and how I found him. But I'm not sure he's understanding everything. She breathlessly tells her tale, sparing little detail while leading up to his very moment. Norik listens thoughtfully as he takes into account of her harrowing journey. Rumors have fitted about the where whereabouts of Whitebeard's famous great ship. The Black Serpent in the ports of Katala. Hence my presence tonight. Will my story suffice? It sounds like you face many <laughs> perils. I've tracked my fair share across the land yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. My condolences for your father. I'm certain he was a good man. He was. I'm harrowed by the thought of what I could have done differently to save him. But once I find Whitebeard, my father's spirit will be allowed to finally rest. There now. It wasn't so hard, was it? If you say so, I'm not sure our paths should have crossed in the first place. With the Raven as our medium, we are privy to one another's thoughts now. For whatever reason, we've been drawn closer. Perhaps a bit too close. <laughs> as much as I hate to admit it, we need to work together. We can't stay here, so we must determine our next move. Do you know where Whitebeard is now? After my encounter with him, he mentioned he and his crew were heading east. He's planning another raid on Catan, I'm sure of it. And this one may be bigger than the last. We must warn the other townspeople. Uh, it's possible that Whitebeard intended to go to Catala. We need to cross a belt in order to reach the big city. Hmm. Uh, what do we choose? <clears throat> I thought we were in Catala. No? No, no, no. Yeah, where did we get arrested? I don't know. I guess uh, we need to cross a belt in order to... Or, wait. It's possible that Whitebeard intended to go to Catalus? We're both supposed to go there? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Good. It's settled then. Our course of action is clear. We've no time to waste. Let's depart at once. Wait. <laughs> what about the other Catala prisoners? Especially the ones in the neighboring cells. I can't in good conscience leave them behind. I understand how you feel. But the odds are clearly against us. There must be dozens of sea robbers keeping a lookout. I barely got to you without being seen. Oh man, is this like uh, where we like get our rep, dude? <laughs> Do we, we save? get a rep? Do we save all the Catanians? Catanians? Or do we just go after Whitebeard? I don't know. I can't. I kind of just want to go for Whitebeard, but I, I feel like that might be the, the wrong choice here. Because later in the story, these people are probably going to have to help us. Yeah, like, if we go to aggro, then... Yeah. I think this is about us gathering an army. All right, Nork is right. Very well. I see it as the right thing to do. Defeating Captain Whitebeard would be meaningless if I didn't help the lives of the people he ruined. The people here would be forever grateful to you. Good. Then we'll need to move quickly. 
open each cage door and go to the next one quietly. Don't make any sudden movements in front of the prisoners. They're already in a state of panic. You realize this is no small task. It will take time to get these locks open. Click, click, lock, click, click, lock, <laughs> lock, lock. There's more lock cage doors than I originally thought. We can't stop now. Open as many as you can, Gwellin. In the cover of darkness, Norik and Gwellin work in tandem, going around to each cage to free other prisoners. However, not everyone wants to be freed by strangers. A crazed man who has probably spent too many nights in his cage begins to protest at the top of his lungs as Gwellin approaches. Who are you? Don't come any closer. Leave me alone. Oi, what's going on? What's making all that racket back there? Curse it all. The prisoner gave us away. More sea robbers will be coming soon. Do we stand and fight? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, we know what we know what Norik would do. He'd run down the hill for cover. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Derailed, defeated by yeah, doors. Damn doors! Always taking us out. I, we should lose our enemy in the village, right? Okay. Try to lose him in the village. Oi! The Catanians are escaping. After him. The prisoners are fleeing their cages. Quickly, let's run after them. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. It's the same thing. I think both of these. Yeah. Both, yeah. These are the same thing. Are you trying not to get caught? Yeah. Listen to me. We must blend in with the crowd. With so many riding in different directions, the sea robbers can't chase us all. We'll we'll lose them before we arrive in Katala. If we're ever going to follow them, we'd best do it now before everyone scatters too far. Start heading for Katala now, under the guise of being escaping prisoners. But we must move quickly so that we reach the village before the sea robbers. Phew! <laughs> I'm out of breath. But I think... I think we've outrun the sea robbers. For now, at least. I don't think they're pursuing us, but even if they are, we've arrived at Katala. We could hide or keep to the shadows if necessary. Where could they have gone? Neither Captain Whitebeard nor the Black Serpent are at port. Hmm. We have no choice but to investigate what transpired here. <laughs> the Raven is right. We have to find out where the sea robbers went. I fear they may have sailed to the big city beyond the veldt, but to get there, it takes us too long to cross the veldt on foot. I see a group of villagers making their nightly round. I'll draw their attention. Be careful when talking to them. You want to be the elder? Oh. Uh, um, I am the elder in charge here. What are you doing in Katala? Pardon us. We're just passing through. We heard that had what had happened to your village, and we came for answers. We're looking for an outsider ship called the Black Serpent that may have docked here recently. But as your village is almost as quiet as a grave, I'd say we are too late. That's because They're there's very dead. few of us left in the village, young man. <laughs> yes, there was an outsider ship that landed near Katala. But they left us and but they left and headed east as soon as many of my people were captured and hauled away. This elder's just one of the less people how sad. White beard's <clears throat> gone too far now. Yeah. White beard's gone too far now. He's gone too far. If you're searching for the sea robbers, you must find them and help us restore the glory of my village the way it was before it was raided. I'd give anything, anything, to hear the voices of our laughing children again. We will bring them back, Elder. We swear it. <laughs> Thank the gods for you. I suggest you start your search in Grandfall. Rumors are the sea robbers may still be skulking around there. Unfortunately, traveling by foot is too slow, and we'll put you further behind in your quest. This means we'll need to ride on horseback then, but where do we begin looking? <clears throat> find him. Find him, find him, find him. There may be stables that could provide us with horses. There may be stables. Yep. That's a possibility. To reach Grandfall, we must cross the veldt as vast as the sky above us. We'd best make prep before we leave. Of a man of I'm ready to go. We'll get <laughs> yeah, man of prayer. Most of us have been on foot, but we'll need to find horses to continue the rest of the way to Cranford. Agreed. But we've no time to waste if we're going to catch up with Whitebeard and his crew. We must act now. We have to ask ourselves is it possible to cross the veldt on foot? 
uh, not if you want blisters for the rest of your life. <laughs> Anything is possible. <laughs> Crossing yeah. a horseback is ideal. Yeah. Uh, horseback? I think, yeah. Then let's get moving. Hope we come across a farm or stable on the way to the city. Hey, be careful, Glamon. You almost stepped on some armor. These gauntlets and greaves are just lying on the grass. <laughs> huh? How did they get there? Maybe they used to belong to a knight or a warrior. That's, maybe. <laughs> Raven's just like, hey. What matters most is that it's it's, it's Luke, just Luke just waiting for just someone Luke. to pick it we up. It's some Luke, guys. <laughs> this is what we seafarers do. We look for hordes of treasure <laughs> and spoils of war. No, leave it. Why? Because these gauntlets and greaves are made of iron. They're heavy. I won't have you slowing us down. Now leave it and focus on our journey. You can only wear Fine. leather. You can only wear leather, but it... Nork. But it's really a waste of good armor, though. <laughs> it's your spec for leather. It's pointless for yeah. you to be carrying iron greaves. And I'm in cloth. <laughs> After trudging northeast for a few <laughs> miles now, I don't think we can keep going. At least not like this, on foot. Um, you have to keep your eyes on our destination. This large city at the, at the other end of the belt, that's our goal. That might be easy for you during the day, but at this time of night, it's difficult to see. Luckily, I spotted a farm not too far from us. Do you see any horses? That's what counts. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean, Raven, but at this point, we have to try. What do we have to lose? Am I right? <laughs> let's, see if, let's see if we can win favor with the farmer. Look, here he comes now. Farmer. Yes? Can I help you? Well, Matt... <laughs> we're travelers from, coming from Katala and making our way east across the island. We're trying to get to a large city across the belt. If you're, if you're headed for the city of Grandfa, you're not that far off. And a few other farmers live and work here in the city's outskirts. We try to take care of the land in our stables. That's what we wanted to discuss. We need to ride the, the right of the way to Grandfa. <laughs> but we have no horses and we're wondering if you could help us. My horses, huh? You look like more of those outsiders. You think you've got something worth much as my prize, Stallions? Hmm. Uh, we should check that he even has Stallions. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have much luck when talking to the farmer, so that's not my turn. Now my turn. Go and see if he really has these horses he speaks of. I sweet talk him well. Seems your supply of meat is growing steadily. Say, have you ever been envied by it for your crop? I haven't much knowledge of the craft, but I can tell a bountiful harvest when I see one. A good eye you've got. Plenty of generations of tending meat and crop have made us true experts. Only a true artisan would understand. Gwendolyn's got him distracted well. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> Now's my chance. This will buy me enough time to slip into the stable. Uh, you'd best be careful in case there's someone watching us. Right. Somebody watching me. Oh, farmer's wife. Here we go. Yo! What are you sneaking around our house for? I had my eye on you to know what you, t you two walked in here. Thank you, my sweet. I see how it is. You two like making a mockery of us, huh? Here in Grandpa, we don't tolerate thieves, especially no good outsiders. I flagged down two local knights who were passing through just as you came on my land. I saw you from out back. You're right, I have no horses, but I'm doing what's best for Grandfall by stopping sea robbers like you from running wild. Wanna be a knight? Oh yeah. You kept us here long enough. What's the problem? It's these two, the outsiders I was telling you about. Take them away. They tried to raid my farm. We must disappear before the authorities arrive. Yeah. Too late for that. We need to stay cool and calm. So these are the outsiders we heard talk about. Ready the chains and wagon will haul them away before they call reinforcements. Wait, there's been some misunderstanding. We weren't trespassing, I swear it. I'm sure you outsiders will tell a different story once you've spent some time in Grand for prison. Now your feet and get comfortable in the wagon. We're leaving the farm immediately. Ah, we're going back to jail. Oh. Yep. Ah. Oh. Uh, no working well. Well, that might be... That might be a good place yep. to stop for the night. That's the end point there. Norik and Gwellen. It's very interesting. Arrested. Worlds are colliding, guys. Whoa, look at this. I clicked the thing. 
And it went to like a pink one. Whoa. Do I click it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, and here's where we oh, are. Oh, dude, everyone, everyone is right there. We're dude. at Grand Four. We're now in the jails of Grand Four, basically. Yeah. But so, so, so Norik, we've got Norik and uh, Gwellen are going to jail. Yep. And then where's yep. Bjorn? Bjorn is like just walking into the city or something. Yeah, wasn't he like asking people information? Oh yeah, he's just walking the streets trying to find. Yeah. Asking where, yeah, who's who's where, kind of thing. Oh man, we were about it. we were about to do uh, we're about to party up. Oh man, we're about to have a three man party. Oh, <laughs> yeah, three man party, man, three man party. Yes, yes. All right. Woo. So that's that's that that concludes the second episode of our Catan Stories: Legends of the Sea Robbers series. Legends of the Sea Robbers. <laughs> Legends. Of the sea robbers. Whoa. Ah. Okay. But, uh, yeah, man. What do you think? What do you think, Emma? It's getting interesting. Yeah. It's getting I, interesting. I, like, I, like, I like that the paths are crossing. It makes it much more interesting. Right. I agree. I think it's cool. Our stories are coming together. I hope. I hope. What? Oh, that's my iPad you know, down but... here. <laughs> I got close. I was like, why why do I still hear men fighting and yelling at each other <laughs> and, and stuff like that? It's just my iPad going off. But yeah, it's a cool little uh lore. It's 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 uh I like how the stories are coming together that like I don't know, I still think Nork is annoying. <laughs> yep, for sure. He's I the, think we made a right call about that. Yeah, he's the goody two shoes boy. Uh Gwellen's all about the like kind of like getting in there and getting away from the authorities and and that kind of thing. Yep. And Bjorn is I guess the same way. But he's more of like a passive brute, right? Yeah, he's a brute, dude. He's just like, he's like singularly focused. He's yeah. like, where's I my just lady? Get my yeah, where's my lady at? Where's my lady? There's my lady. Yeah, all right. Well, that was quite the adventure, Lyle. We, 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 I hope everyone had a good time tonight in the chat. We appreciate all you guys hanging out with us and staying up late. We're, you know, this is, this is the kind of stream that'll, uh, if you're laying in bed watching your iPhone, you're like, oh, what's going <laughs> to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so if we landed on your face tonight, sorry. <laughs> yeah sorry about that sorry, sorry about, about that. landing on your face sorry about that <laughs> but uh yeah we'll be back on maybe monday i think uh, i think we'll aim to go for monday um i don't know if we'll have a miniature stream but maybe we'll do some gaming and then we'll uh hopefully wrap up Catan stories one of these days um it's awesome being in the new house appreciate everyone's support and patience as uh as we're transitioning lyle and i've been transitioning into our new homes for the last months and we're almost there yep. we're almost there i'll be making one more transition <laughs> into nice. that door <laughs> into the closet i'll be moving into the basement closet <laughs> but uh nice dude yeah man yeah man i think it's time to call it a night what do you say i think we're calling it a night it's a good it, we had a good stopping point right there yeah it's a good stopping point thanks everybody for hanging out we hope you had a blast go check out all kinds of good stuff on twitch here in the board game section and uh go play some awesome games this week it's gonna be a good time rock and roll right? rock on yeah definitely rock 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 rock, rock body rock rock rock, rock. <laughs> back, back. All right, everybody have a great night. Cheers. Thanks, Catan Stories. Bye. Bye. Bye.